Look, it's a suspect. I don't know who that one is. Those pants. Oh, is that the gunsmith? I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. Wesley, owner of the gun store called Panda Bear. Oh, I forgot about People Wesley. People here call me the gunsmith. So our two black guys are Wesley and Usher. All right. Wesley the sniper. Was there something <laughs> you want to ask me? How do you make a living running a gun store in a place like this? I'd be worried because there can't be that many customers. Worry gives us small Never been out in the country before, shadow. have you? I do well, gunsmith yeah. work in my shop, too. If you got the skills, the customers find you. All you need is a network. I hope oh, so. Oh god, I feel like crafting subplots coming on. Oh wow, he brought his You've got quite a ammo to sell? Panda bear. Wonder people come from all around. Mm -hmm. Even today, a customer paid me to go to Seattle for some help. I just got back. I see. Well, I'll be sure to visit your store sometime. I'd love for you to take a look at my gun. Understood. If you know what I mean. To it. The <laughs> shop will be open again tomorrow. It's usually open from 2000 to 06. I need a little help so adjusting need... my sights, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so his shop is the only place that's open at night. Now. Crutch up. Sunspot? Is that what that said? Sunspot? I don't know. Will you talk I'm to him? Special Agent Francis York Morgan. I presume you are the owner of the diner that Anna worked at? That's right. Oh, wow. Oh, I guess it was suspect. I'd like to ask you a few questions oh, about Anna Graham. Did you notice anything strange about her prior to the incident? <laughs> yelled at him when he tried to go into the kitchen before. Nick? I think he'd remember. Are you hiding something? Mm. No, nothing. You sure? I'm sorry, but I don't like repeating myself. Hey, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Just because it's an emergency or a, a murder investigation and I'm an FBI agent, you, you don't have to answer you my noticed questions. anything strange about Anna before the incident? Well, she was dealing meth. I'm not sure if this will be of any help, but... Anything. No She's matter how a lot of could meth. be of help. The well, you see, the diner closes when it rains. Many shops meth. do that what? around here, as you might have heard. Anyway... Anna always seemed unfocused the day after it rained, and came in late, too. It was almost as if she used up all her energy the day before. It was... Could it's the Pacific it, Northwest. Really like, it, Did it that rained legendary some monster every really day. Her? It wasn't a monster. Just a criminal. A criminal I'm going to catch and bring to justice. And meth. <laughs> You're sticking to the math jokes. Uh, I'll take them as long as they'll uh, keep working. Although that, that's a matter of opinion. I don't know. Yeah, the jackets are kind of painted on. I mean, I can't be too picky for the, the era of the, the game and the... Anna with an airhead. Budget and stuff. What do you mean? Are you saying she was killed because she was an airhead? Or are you saying that she was an airhead for being killed? I'm sure she's still an airhead, even in heaven. She changed her hair every day. If she lost a pound, she'd be ecstatic. Gained one, and she'd almost be in tears. She broke many, many plates every day at the diner, and she'd always have a smile on her face, always having fun. It's not a good Everyone way to keep a job at, at a diner. She was a cute, adorable, <laughs> loving airhead. But they would be smiling right along. Almost got like an Arlo Guthrie song. I wouldn't song be surprised if the mm. angels smiled with her too. Oh, are we having a profiling moment? She just, she was not well modeled. She was not well no. modeled for as pretty as they keep saying she is. Isaac and Isaiah said that Anna was a fairy of the forest. A goddess. Well, they drink a lot. Have you noticed, York, that people don't actually seem to like talking to you? <laughs> you? You could pull rank on them, you know. You don't have to let them walk away with a shrug. Yeah, he, sh he should have given a little shrug there. Yeah. Hey, what are you gonna do? Yep. I think you got everyone. 
No? Colonel. General? The sergeants were stripes. There's a story reason for that, but it's not very interesting. So you're the FBI agent, <laughs> are you? Now we can start getting car I'm upgrades. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Right. I'm the general. I fought for my country in the Vietnam War. <laughs> a real-life war hero. So why are you living here? Soldier, this is my hometown. You could argue Every that fighting in the war doesn't war automatically make you a war hero. Hometown. Your little speech, yeah. you mentioned the raincoat killer. Was that a problem? You imbecile. The Strange angles they choose. Myth, not mere folklore, not a fairy tale. What are you calling a fairy tale? Events that happen in this town. Why does he have a belt around it his is. right arm? That doesn't. I'm interested. Can you tell me more about this. It's all the morphine he's done since <laughs> the war. kids today don't even know how to ask for something. He's, he's right. always tied off for that injection in his arm there. <laughs> Soldier, if you want to hear more, you come to my. Any office. minutes. He literally exudes raw power, Zack. Literally? Despite the credibility issues, we should give him a visit. One thing, though. He calls himself a general, but isn't that a sergeant's uniform? No, but there's a sergeant's patch stitched onto it. <laughs> it's not quite the same. Agent Morgan, I'd like to let everyone go home now. Let's They've already outside. been leaving every time he's done talking to them. <laughs> No, uh, Usha and Fiona still. Oh, yeah. So did Richard and Quint. The chandelier looks a bit like a cow. Back in the hole. <laughs> that's, uh. It's gotta be a reference Suggestive. to something. Suggestive. Also, a butt joke. Oh, it looks like Keith was waving there. He's like, goodbye, goodbye. I'd, I'd like it if, when they had alternate costumes, they had people react to them. People just sort of do yeah. a double take every time they see Emily in her cat suit. Yeah, it, it, it's a little weird, like, especially, like, with here, where now she's in her uniform, you know? Yeah. Let's see. I am going to Google back in the hole, because I'm sure that's a reference to something. That double-fingered point. It is the name of a song. By a group called Hunters and Collectors. Alright. Hunters and Collectors could be a description of, of our cast. Potatoes! Potato. No, potato. What's Spuds precious? Taters. What's Taters precious? Well then, Agent York, do you the have license says Spy Fiction, case? which is uh, an to early to game by Swery. My notes. I need to contact HQ and give a progress report too. Okay, then let's call it a day here. Sounds good. Contact my office when you finish your report. We'll pick you up tomorrow morning. Diane, the owner of the art gallery, should be back soon. She is back. All right, then. You saw her. I was gonna say. Oh, hold on, Agent York. We're going out to eat at Nick's diner. Like and to I'm gonna mime a blowjob. The diner. <laughs> it might be nice. Thomas is a great cook, but Nick is a real deal. Check to make sure my lab. No visit to Greenvale is complete without eating at the A and G. A very appealing uh, proposition. Tapping his lapel. Zach, what do you think? We can always go back to the hotel after eating dinner, or go directly back to the hotel. You decide, Zach. Go eat with them. Cause it's got a funny mm -hmm. conversation in it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm assuming if we're trying to see as much as we can, we want to go eat. Them. Right. I <laughs> was here for Let's not sit long too close. Time now. That burger and this is the not worst entirely burger convincing. I've ever seen. <laughs> Our town is a little odd in some ways, but it's usually a peaceful place. We had our fair Davis share of cases. Talk. Like, those booths are obviously meant stuff. to seat four. Yeah. A high school kid shoplifting from the milk barn, maybe? But they, they can't animate a scooch together. Kids fighting, fueled on liquor? I guess not. Nothing more than that. Agent York, what kind of cases have you dealt with in the past? Uh, careful, you not can spill your beer all over your... Mentioned. 
two-dimensional <laughs> plate. The case I was on until last month, well, the guy killed seven girls in a three-month period. He sawed their heads off from the neck and took them back to his house. He cleaned the skulls up and used them as utensils in his daily life to eat from or as a urine cup. Is a urine cup a thing? That was um, his way of dealing with it. Not in my life. <laughs> it really looks like she's trying he to pour that beer on her plate. Ice, <laughs> yeah. cola, and rum. Then he down it in one gulp. For him, that was a holy ritual. The question of his mental state was the pivotal point in the court case. Oh, man. For me, he wasn't sane. He was just... Working on it up till last Drinking month. Uh, well, that is one thing, but I, I doubt there's a court case on it. But those he had used yeah. to relieve himself, he would then just use them to drink from too. Yeah, that was too much for me. It's just not sanitary. <clears throat> <clears throat> not sanitary. Uh, that's probably not the problem for most of us. What else? Ah, yes. An ingenious law school student raped over 800 victims. That was a nasty one. Thank you, Agent York. No, seems like a high number. Else. I mean, is yes. that even possible? You don't want to hear anymore? Probably. That's a shame, isn't it, Zach? I was just about to get to the... You know good what they too. say, uh, you know, as American, you, you can achieve totally anything you want as long world. as you, you have that I mean, like go-to-it attitude. You're like an elite agent who just go. jumped out from a movie or something. In your eyes, we must look like we're just playing cops and robbers. Uh, Stop touching yourself, Thomas. I can't compete with you. Don't say that, Emily. The cases you have solved are all full-fledged crimes. A crime is a crime. Size doesn't matter. That's what I keep telling There's myself. There's no big and small. Crimes always have a criminal and a victim. Except tax-based no crimes. Will ever welcome <sighs> crime. And illegal no downloading. What it size. So fundamentally, there is no privacy is not a victimless crime. Yeah. Go to FBI. From <laughs> well said, Agent Morgan. We work day and night to preserve peace and order in this town. You gonna go back to you licking your hamburger that, right? since you're clearly not taking bites out of it? <laughs> Seems like he was kind of kissing. Of course, kissing it. It's very oh. passionate. Mm, I don't think shoplifting and. Anna's murder as the same level of crime. Me. That outfit neither. is a crime. I never even dreamt that such a thing could ever even happen in this town. <laughs> I keep on expecting to see Anna here in this diner, waiting on tables. Breaking plates. <laughs> <laughs> they... Something about the shadow on his face keeps making it look Agent like he Morgan. has a really terrible you mustache. Should make a more uplifting experience. Let's call it a night. Okay. <laughs> Good night then. No, no, let's not go, Agent Morgan. Let's just call it a night. It's not really a night. We'll just call it. C is for cookie. Get good enough for me. <laughs> cookie is a sometimes treat. Yes. Cookie, 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 that we see. Oh, it's raining and after dark. You're now gonna wander around a bit. Come on, I wanna see. That's okay. He's eventually forced into it. Yeah, I figure. Galaxy of Terror. It's hard name for a bar. I think that's a movie. Oh, maybe we're looking for a person? Maybe. We're looking to see if a person is home. So what does turning it upside down do? Does it make it stop raining? No. Um, if it's raining, it will um, replenish your health if it's upside down. If it's sunny, it will replenish your health if it's right side up. Got it. Okay. Satisfy your hunger. I like little cans of tomato sauce. And weird looking bait. 
I yeah, didn't notice where um, he wound up going. I guess, I guess that's what a legend worm is like. Um, yeah, I don't know either. All right, I'm good with this this outfit. It cost him four dollars <sighs> to send a, his suit to the cleaners, and he got twenty four dollars for changing his suit. I did not catch where we are. Hmm. Is there another motel? No idea. It looks like a motel room. Yeah, but he would have had to have like rent the room and stuff first, right? Normally, but he seems immune to many of the social niceties. It's a sweet... That was the alternate title of this game. Immune to the social niceties. <laughs> Looked like you just went out into like some sort of VR environment there. Imagine if this game were VR, it would be one of those that make you motion sick. Oh, yeah. Every time you walk. Oh, it's uh, cabins. Huh. Ah. Okay. Time for lunch because he woke up hungry. <laughs> it's a very Muppety sort of uh, footstep you're creating there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that phrasing is just wrong. Doll that expresses rain by turning around. <laughs> like it does interpretive dance. Hey, Thomas. All right, Thomas. See, it's 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 just gonna it's just oh. So after the diner meal or after the meeting, some of the dialogue seems yeah. to change. So yeah, after that town meeting, some some of the side quests disappear. Sushi, right? Many times. A few more open up. I visit a sushi bar almost every day when I work in New York. I really like sushi. They're not all eating the same thing. I ate it for the first time the other day. It does taste good, doesn't it? She's got a little pizza. He's got a sandwich. What? Sushi. That's raw fish on top of rice, right? Sandwich food. What does really like about that? I don't see what's so good about it. Then why don't you try it sometime? It really is delicious. What kind of topping do you like, Agent York? <laughs> Big hairy I man. I like salmon the best. <laughs> yes. A nice fatty piece of salmon is always nice. I like Does salmon come in a fatty variety? Impressive, Tom. I, I don't know. But then I'd expect no less. Now, tuna is a great choice. Simple and plain, easy to eat. I like tuna. I like lobster best. I think it's texture when raw is simply fantastic. Oh, no. Tuna and not lobster? You eat all these raw? I can't believe it. There must be a more tasty topping than that. Sure, you can eat oh, mud yeah. bugs raw. Well, what would work for you? The lobsters aren't mud yeah, bugs. Yeah, I. What kind I, of sushi topping would you? Never like? heard of eating raw lobster. Okay, hold on a moment. Say something inadvertently dirty. <laughs> How about French fries and ketchup? No. Oh. Uh, disgusting. Um, I'd never eat that. You'd never eat French fries and ketchup? I take it you agree. Or you just never eat it as sushi? Well, George. Well, I, I think you said something plenty? raw. Raw French fries? Yeah. Thomas seemed to be hiding a laugh for no apparent reason. We'll just take their word for it that there was a funny moment. Yeah, not actual humor, but a close approximation thereof. No. So, I can't help but noticing that we have not checked in with HQ, even though we said we were going to. I think that's what our calling in is. Ah, I see. Sugar donuts, sugar donuts. I don't know why. <laughs> it's raining again, or still? Sealing again? That killer is just murdering like wild at this point. Yeah, it's a surprise he hasn't tripped over any corpses yet. 
I mean, I guess to be fair, <laughs> there are a lot of uh, purple ghost corpses, but, you know, yeah. maybe those are all victims of the killer when it rains. Maybe. Why do you go back to the cabins? Come on, there are I things happening. Sleep. <sighs> he probably wants... Yeah. He wants to go to nighttime, which means he wants to go to mm -hmm. one of the bars or the gunsmith. Mm. Yeah, I guess... Uh, or the graveyard. Although that might not be a good idea at night. Yeah. I don't know if the graveyard's open at night. Or available as a place to explore. Right. I once, was once nearly arrested for being in a graveyard after after dark. Hmm. Small town seemed like a good place for to go parking, as it were. Some cops pulled in behind us. Wanted to see my I, ID. Uh, I had none yet because I was 16, had no job. I don't... I, you know, I've heard of, like, graveyard as a place for, like, making out and stuff like that, and I'm just like, oh, not, that's not cool. I mean, except, like, I had a girlfriend who was goth, so I mean, that made sense. But. Well, I mean, it depends on your, your town and your area. Where I grew up, our, our graveyard was just this big, beautiful park. Uh, 